Hi there. Are you a real estate agent who's tired of juggling multiple tools to manage your business? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to quickly import all of your client details from other applications, databases, or CRMs into Notion, which is a truly amazing tool where you can build absolutely any of the organizational systems that you need for your business. By the way, I'm Jess. I'm Notion certified. I've spent years working in real estate using different tools to organize my business. And I've now created this all-in-one template called the Ultimate Agent Hub to help other real estate agents organize their business seamlessly. You're welcome to grab it in the link in the description. So let's get into it. You'll see here that I have all of my follow-ups, my tasks, my daily habit checklist, calendar, and then there's multiple other things that I can organize in Notions. But today we're going to focus on our client database and how we can bring all of our clients into this beautiful, powerful system. If you're a little bit newer to Notion, I'm going to mention that in Notion, there are pages and there are databases. Right now, we're on the page called All Client Database, and the database itself is sitting on that page. In order to actually access this database, if I go into my sidebar menu here, I see that on this All Client Database page, I have the All Client and Lead database. Then the other way is just to click on this Open as Full Page. If I try to import CSV data, I will not see that option. What I need to do is be on the full page. And once I'm on that full page, I will actually see merge with CSV. All right, so now we need to create a CSV file. Most databases or CRMs that you may currently be using should have the option to export your information as a CSV file. That's what you need to do. So make sure that when you're exporting your data, you're exporting it as a CSV file. Now, once you have your CSV file, you should be able to open it into a spreadsheet software, whether that's Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets even works just fine. And once you have this, you'll want to do a little bit of homework here before you actually import it into your client database in Notion. Because in order for this to appear the way that it does here, we need each of these headings to be called the exact same thing as we have them named here in Notion. You can actually input all of these headings into the spreadsheet. And as long as you're inputting them exactly the same way, they will easily be imported into this Notion database. So I just want to mention the only ones that you won't be able to import are the ones that are relational properties or formula properties or roll-up properties. Of course, files won't work either because you can't hold a file in a spreadsheet. But all of the other pieces of information, as long as you're typing them the exact same way as they appear in the Notion database that you're using, they'll import quite well. So for an example, I have two clients in my spreadsheet. So Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift. I've typed client name exactly as it appears in my Notion database. Now client type as well. So this is actually a select property. So it's one where I can select from multiple options. But as long as I type something in my spreadsheet, which matches exactly one of these multi-select options, it will import properly. So here I have buyer and seller typed the same way. Transaction address. This one actually will not work because it's a relational property. So you will have to create that connection yourself because this communicates with another database. And if you're new to Notion and this is a lot for you right now, I would recommend going back to one of my full walkthrough videos, which I'll link up here. So next follow-up date, I can input that there in the same format. So September 6, 2023, as long as it's typed the same way. Budget, I can also include that. So I put a million here. Source, I've selected two options that I have in my options for this property. So referral and Instagram. I'll do a test here just to see if I were to enter something that doesn't already exist within this property, what happens. Maybe Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, seller. I'm just going to make up a few pieces of data here. And then let me create a source that doesn't exist in this database. So 
what if my lead were to come from, I don't know, Pinterest? See, I don't have, I don't have Pinterest here as one of my lead sources. So let me write that and see what happens when I import this CSV file. And then status is going to be new lead. So here I have different statuses that I can choose for each of my clients or leads. So as long as I type out one of these word for word and they matches, it will select that status automatically for me when I import it. Let's call this pre-list. Okay, so now I've got my three clients and I have inputted all of the information here. I'm just going to remove this one because it's a relational property in my database here. All right, so let's see if I can import these three contacts into my Notion database. So whether you're using a spreadsheet software or Google Sheets, you should be able to go ahead and download as a CSV file. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And voila, I have downloaded my file. Now, as I showed previously, when you're in your full page view of your database, you'll be able to click on those three dots on the upper right corner and click on Merge with CSV. Now I'm going to select this spreadsheet, which I have just created, enter and let Notion do its work. And voila. So I have Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez. Everything has been inputted in the right places. I have referral and Instagram. And then let's see if Justin Bieber is down here. Yep, there he is. He's pre-list. So that worked perfectly fine. Next follow up that worked. Justin, his email and phone number showed up. Ooh, see, so source did not populate with anything because it didn't match any of these sources that I have in this property. Okay, so that's a good reminder that if you have a, a piece of information in your CSV file that doesn't exist in your Notion database, make sure to add it to the Notion database before you import the data so that it can properly match the information and populate your Notion database accurately. So if I go in here and I wanted to add that Pinterest source, I can do that right there. I'm just going to change the color so that it matches my other social media. There we go. So Pinterest is there. Now I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to do that again to see if it works. So sheet three, importing. Justin Bieber is there and Pinterest shows up. So there you go. Not sure how many agents get their leads from Pinterest, but I'm sure it's happened before. <laughs> so you can get set up on Notion really quickly and get started with organizing your business. Thank you so much for watching. Again, you can find this entire template for sale in the link in the description. And please like and subscribe to support my channel and to let me know that you would love to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Jess and I'll see you in the next video.